Great basketball game. Um, unfortunately, when you coach and play, there has to be a loser. And um, unfortunately, they made one more play than we did. Um, our effort was amazing. The crowd was phenomenal. Um, every time I coach in this building when it's packed, I hate having them leave uh, with a loss. But with that being said, we're building something special. I truly believe it. And, um, you know, we've done some amazing things in year two. We're going to continue to learn and grow and build. Um, but that was a tough one. Very, very similar to, to Nevada, uh, where we made some great plays and we fought and they just made one more than we did. But it's the beauty of sports. You know, it's, it's the um, unfortunate part of it. So we're going to have to learn to get off the mat um, and get back to work, see if we can go get Fresno. Questions? What was it like talking to the new locker room after that one? Exactly what I just said. I mean, it's just there's now one guy you can blame. I mean, the other team is, is a really good team as well. Uh, we fought. You know, we competed our butts off. We built a lead in the first. We thought, you know, I mean, they're a really good team. They'd come back. Um, but it's not one guy. It's not on one guy. It's a, it's a collective thing. And we haven't been together a long time as a team. Um, and hopefully we continue to learn and grow, and adversity just makes you stronger. Coach, aside from the outcome, it looks like the team checked off a lot of other boxes, the like good things that happened in the game. Everyone looked more cohesive, and just a lot of other good things that happened. Like We're playing good basketball. I mean, you know, the, the two games where Jalen wasn't in there, of course, we looked like a totally different team. But San Jose, who, who beat Boise today, we played great. Um, we played really well at Boise for a lot of the game, and we played really well tonight. So when we're healthy and when we're, we're together, I think we're a pretty good team. So uh, we played hard. We, we, got, we, we, we shared the ball pretty well. Um, they just made a big three at the end. What did you see from your team second half defensively? Um, we gave up a couple threes that weren't great. Um, you know, on some underneath that of bounds plays that hurt us. Um, they're really, really big. It's hard to out rebound them. Um, we, we did our best, certainly, uh, but they're huge. Um, you know, so I thought we were fine. I mean, we put ourselves in a position to win the game. Uh, you know, so no complaints there. Coach, for my loss, as dramatic as that, the tournament right around the corner, how does that build you? What's the real positive that comes from tonight? It'll help you be a tournament team. Oh, God, I don't know. We're going to have to look at the film and find some positives. I mean, season, we still got two regular season games left. Um, we got one at home. We got senior night. Let's go Let's go see if we can get Fresno. You know, we're not I, – I don't really look ahead too much. It's too hard. This profession's too challenging to, to do that. So we'll all get some rest, and we'll just get back to work tomorrow, see what we did well, see what we didn't do well, and see if we can help them ready for Fresno. Their offense got hot for the last 10, 12 minutes. They played two thirds of their shots down the stretch. Did they do anything differently to change? No, I mean, they're big. They were throwing over us a little bit on some ball screens. It was so loud. It's hard to communicate on both ends. Um, so, you know, just a couple big shots. We gave us three threes that were uh, tough. I mean, they made what they make three point wide. They eight for 15 from the three in the second half was, was obviously a problem. The last play that. I mean, it's pretty gutsy for them to pull up for a hit to three, but what were you expecting what the guys looking for? You know, I mean, they only got six seconds, so I thought they'd probably try to go to Bradley with something. Um, but like you said, I mean, it was just kind of gutsy for them to knock down a three. Um, it is what it is. This team has uh, proven you can play with Nevada, with San Diego State, with Boise State, but you can also lose to Wyoming. What, what's, what is it? With Jalen House out. I think that has... That's hard to ignore, and I know fans, I understand it, but when Jalen House is in our lineup and we're a complete team, we can beat anybody. The Air Force game and the Wyoming game, uh, it just didn't feel like us. It just didn't. Um, so, you know, hopefully we're healthy, ready to go for Fresno. Speaking of senior night, I mean, can you just talk about, you know, the importance of sending those guys out the right way? Well, it's weird with all the COVID stuff because we really have only one guy uh, that can't come back, and that's Morris. And so we'll honor all the guys that graduate. It's just a weird thing that we're doing in today's world. Um, but, you know, we, we want them all to come back besides Morris. Um, but they all got to weigh their options. It's just, it's just a crazy part of this thing. But, you know, when you play in an environment like this, I think a lot of people are going to want to come and be a part of this. 
Um, so, you know, like I said, uh, we'll get back to work tomorrow, regroup, and see if we can go find a way to get Fresno. Coach, this community is on fire for your team. You've already said it a few times, the crowd and feeling bad when you have to say bye to me after a loss. Man, I can live here all my life. This community is back with you. There's little kids crying out there. It hurts. Yeah, I want to go cry with them. Um, it's, it's, uh, it just means more, you know, I, I had, um, my brother and my sister in town from Florida and we've been around basketball our whole lives, obviously. And you see fan bases and everyone thinks their fan base is good or what, whatever. But I have more people come up to me and it really, you know, it, it brings a tear to your eye when they say Albuquerque needs this and, the community, like you said, is better when Lobo basketball in the wintertime is good. And it's such a cool thing to be a part of. Um, it's the most fun I've had coaching in a long time. And you could just tell um, people have grown up around it. They come with their families. Um, and it's a community event. So like I said, I, I can't stand that we lost to UNLV, we lost to Nevada at the buzzer and lost this one because these fans are so amazing. But with that being said, recruits see it, our players see it. And it, we're in a world now where you got to retain your guys and you got to recruit. And people are going to want to be a part of this. Anything else for Coach? Yeah, Coach, could you uh, talk a little bit about Mashburn? I mean, obviously, the last game was probably his roughest game of the year, but and he got off to a little bit of a slow start tonight, but it seemed like he kind of regained his swagger. Yeah, I mean, he's one of the best players in the league. Um, you know, I think if we were a little higher in the standings, you could make an argument as conference player of the year. Uh, certainly Jalen could be, and certainly uh, Morris could be. Um, he's crazy confident. He's just got a great belief in himself. And he does that because he works his butt off and he cares, you know. So um, I can't fault anybody in that locker room's effort. You know, it was uh, it was terrific. And, um, you know, Jamal certainly is one who just pours his heart and soul into it. Coach, with the size of San Diego State, Barima getting the playing time that he did, you know, making the most of it at different times. I mean, what did you see out of Barima today? Yeah, he brought value. He rebounded the ball. He's quick. He, he's long. As I've said over and over again, like, we got to get bigger. You know, I mean, when you add – a bunch of pieces off of Zooms. Now, we did a pretty good job, whether it's um, Jalen House, one of the best guards in the country. Jamal obviously came with me, uh, KJ. But these are guys who never saw campus, Barima, Sebastian. Uh, and they're bringing great value. And what we got to do is continue to use what we've had this year to get more guys that want to be a part of this. And, and the memories and the exposure that we're getting, it's only going to help build for future success. As much as this one hurts, how important will Tuesday's game be to just get the mojo moving towards the tournament? Well, it's just another opportunity. Uh, you know, that that's just one day at a time type mentality. So, um, you know, it, it stings. It sucks. There's no other way around it. I don't know if I've ever been a part of two buzzer beaters in one season. Um, but, you know, it's just one of those things where when you play sports and you put yourself out there, you're at risk for that, so give them credit.